Hey, what's up Yoon fam? It is I, Mark Yoon, and today I bring another hopefully exciting video. So what I got for you today is actually a lead up to tomorrow's video. So we're going to have a community day video tomorrow. I know it's been a while since we've had one, but I wanted to pose a topical uh, question for us to go over and talk about in today's video. And then uh, I'm going to choose probably around 15 comments that are probably my favorite or the ones that represent um, everyone as a whole because a lot of times in these kind of videos things get repeated and you'll be featured in tomorrow's community video So what I wanted to talk about and kind of pose to you is there's a lot of uh, negativity it seems around Soul Calibur ever since like 5 and um, It doesn't really have the reputation that it used to have it seems and as a fighting game community here and like fan of Soul Calibur I just wanted to take the time to appreciate some of the finer aspects of the series and things that we actually really enjoy about it, things that no other fighting games really do, or do to the extent. So I'm going to give my thoughts and opinions, and then in the comment section down below, I want you guys to give me your opinions. I'm probably going to choose them uh, tonight, and then tomorrow we will have them featured in the uh, Community Day video. So the first thing I want to talk about, which is probably the most important to me, is the character creation engine. Obviously it was introduced with Soul Calibur 3, and this is probably one of my most utilized functions of the game, especially in Soul Calibur 6. Granted, the uh, character creator was a bit less limited in Soul Calibur 5, and uh, we actually had a lot more to do. but. All in all, still, we can get some pretty good creations out there, and there's a lot of creativity involved in that. And it gives us uh, endless replayability, because we can create characters that we want, uh, throw them into Libra of Souls, or reverse each other online, or just create our own head cannons based on that. So I really love the fact that they actually took the time to keep that kind of a feature in. Another thing that I want to talk about is their usually consistent use of single-player game modes. Now obviously this is the exception with Soul Calibur 5 because they didn't really have anything in there outside of like the endless card battle um, and towers. But we do have uh, Leader of Souls now which is seems to be kind of like the answer to Chronicles of the Sword from Soul Calibur 3. And at first I wasn't really impressed by it but the longer I spent time in the mode the more um, I guess respect I gained for it. And now it's one of my favorite modes to actually utilize in the game. Um, so I have a lot of fun doing that, especially when you're trying to chase down the Ancients and unlock the secret hidden bosses and stuff like that. I think it's a really cool mode, and um, I wish it had a little bit more to it after the end game. Like, I wish there was like some kind of, uh, I don't know, not really create your own adventure type deal, but I wish there was a way that you could just kind of like uh, do some other stuff. And there's, there's some things in it that are a little bit annoying, like the map movement costing money and stuff, but there's not much in the game that actually costs money outside of a few select creation pieces. But uh, that would be my number two thing that I like and appreciate about Soul Calibur. Number three is the fact that it's a weapons-based fighter. So we don't have very many weapons-based fighters. There were more in the past, it seems. We had uh, games like Bushido Blade and stuff like that. And a lot of those, uh, I guess I guess you can include Samurai Showdown. Uh, there is a lot of a lot more back then, and we've seen a little bit of a resurgence of that, but Soul Calibur was one that really, like, grabbed a lot of people. Uh, I'm not saying necessarily, it seemed that to really take off from Soul Calibur 2, but um, I really enjoyed Soul Blade, and I also enjoyed Soul Calibur on the Dreamcast. So, I, like, really like the, the fact that it's a weapon-based fighter, because, it, you know, the community is inundated with fist-based fighting style games, and there's no end to anime fighters that Bandai Namco throws out there and arena fighters and stuff like that. So it's really nice to actually be able to utilize a type of weapon. Now granted they've been faltering a little bit with the amount of weapons and the customization on those weapons that they've been offering us I guess of late. But it seems that they're on the right track coming back from uh, Soul Calibur 5. And there are aspects of Soul Calibur 5 that I do enjoy, granted. Um, I'm not saying it's as a whole despicable. I just, I find that uh, Soul Calibur 6 is stepping in the right direction. There are a few, few mechanical issues, like within the actual fighting engine itself, that I don't really enjoy too much. But I understand that some people actually do like them and utilize them, so I'm not going to take that away from them. But, um... 
I just really appreciate the fact that we actually have a weapons-based fighter that's, uh, I wouldn't say super mainstream. Soul Calibur is still a pretty niche community selling about like 3 million copies, but um, it's big enough to where people know about it. And the last thing that I want to talk about is, as of late, uh, Motohiro Okubo taking over Project Soul with the beginning of Soul Calibur 6. I have nothing against the previous directors, but Motohiro Okubo really makes it a point to uh, get information and news out to the community. He utilizes Twitter a lot. There's the official Soul Calibur page, and Motohiro Okubo himself is actually using the, the, his Twitter page a lot. And they constantly are updating fans with reasons for updates and updates... Um, problems that are causing uh, rewards for those problems being fixed um, retweeting other people's stuff that he likes like fan art and stuff like that it, he's just like a really good director to helm the uh, to helm this project and he seems like he's got a pretty good directorial head on his shoulders where he can manage people uh, fairly without incident and um, he really tries to put things on the right track so I really appreciate I guess the transparency of the new project soul but that's going to be it for uh, just a few of the things that I appreciate about Soul Calibur as a franchise. I don't want to go into too many more because I want to feature your comments and I don't want to reiterate probably a thousand things that you guys are going to say yourselves. So in the comment section down below, um, just uh, tell me a few of the things that you actually appreciate about Soul Calibur and you'll have a chance to be featured in tomorrow's community video. Uh, also, don't forget that the... Um, the Halloween contest for your horror stories involving the Soul Calibur characters submissions are due on November 10th. Uh, I won't be accepting any submissions after November 10th, and I'm only going to be choosing 10 of the stories. So get those in there, and if you're going to submit them in the comment section, I prefer on Discord, but if you're going to put them in the comment section, then please just uh, notate at the beginning that it is for the Halloween contest. It doesn't matter what video it's on, as long as you say... Halloween contest submission, and then your story, we're, we're golden. I'll be able to screenshot it right away. With that being said, guys, we're bringing this video to a close. I want to thank you again for listening and watching. I will see you tomorrow, and as always, thank you. And thank you. Hey, what's up, guys? Have you always wanted some sweet Mark Yoon merch? Maybe a thick you shirt, maybe a shirt from Squirt, maybe my pretty face with my logo all over your body, or a throw pillow, or blanket, or anything? Well, you're in luck because I just launched my merch store and it is going to be available on Redbubble and you will find a link to it in my description box down below. It's got a lot of quality content and a lot of good stuff for you to pick up so you can show your support for the channel and just rep Mark you.